Lurkers, and hello you archaeologists, I'm the John Struck. I'm having a return to Monkey Island adventure. And um, I'm a little bit distracted because I just recorded a 30 minute stream while I was muted for the entire of it. And I only found out right after I finished. And I'm, so I'm like going, I, I have all these things in place to remind me whether I'm muted or not. Like this is why this exists, so I can look. But if I don't check, then there's no way of me knowing. And I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to automatically tell me. Because all the ideas I think people gave me before were like, well, what if you add a check? It's like, yeah. But if I forget to check, then all of that is forgotten. Um, and it was less of an issue when I used to have a mute thing on the screen because that was more obvious. But like now, my mute button is that. It flashes, you see? So like... I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for this, if I can program, like, programmatically be like, there's, it's muted right now. I'd like, I want to know the mute signal because that, that way I can make it much more obvious that I'm muted. Like, there's one thing, because if I'm quiet, maybe that's a thing, you know? Anyway, sorry, that's got nothing to do with Monkey Island. It's just a thing that's going to bug me. Uh, let's continue. We're actually doing great in Monkey Island. Uh, we had two hours. Uh, the one puzzle I got stuck on, somebody was around to, to kind of casually suggest, hey, tell the story in order. I'm like, that's, ah, oh, that's really obvious. Yeah, of course I should have done that. Uh, not to say that was obvious, you know what I mean. Like, ah, oh, why, why didn't I think of that sort of thing? Um, but the rest of it just, you know, it all come, it all happened at once. Anyway, uh, let's go talk to wifey. Oh, I just need you here. It's the secret tunnel to the ice quarry. Now, obviously, she doesn't want to go there because of reasons or she's lost or something. Hi. Hi. Did you happen to feel the earthquake while you were on Monkey Island? I think I was right at the epicenter. Yes, I think you were. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda to talk with Stan about your pamphlet? Oh no, I couldn't possibly go there. Bad optics. He'll have to come here. It's a prison though. Him not leaving is sort of the main idea. How long till he's out? A month. That's not so bad. Are you sure you can't come talk to Stan at the ice quarry? Absolutely sure. He'll have to come here. Okay. Love you. You too. Oh. Right, um So we need to break Stan out of prison. Uh Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. He's gone for years and years. I admit it. I know Stan. So what of it? You can't prove anything. And I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness! Can I have the picture? Not now, I'm packing. Just steal the picture. You steal everyone else's pictures. Either. Hey, Murray, this looks like a great place for you to spend the rest of your death. Don't even think about it, you traitorous worm. Remember who got you the map.
Where's the judge? There's a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. What's the blowfish for? Oh, look, is that a blowfish there? Your Honor, I submit this satchel bursting with incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Can your honor please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, section H, subsection G, parenthesis E. I see. And section U, parenthesis E, parenthesis I, I, subsection A, parenthesis B. Okay. And section S, mm -hmm. parenthesis D, parenthesis F, subsection U. I withdraw the question. I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. Order, order in the court. Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. The court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents. Ah, fuck. It's actually Guybrush Threepwood. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. Let's go talk to Ned. All right, I can't help but see that's a puffer fish, by the way. That that, that she's holding the puffer fish. So maybe that will help us. Let's be s slightly distracted by that. We know how to win the seriousness contest. We need a joke book. Not the we, we've already won in heartiness. I need more fish. Demon pepper. Nice. Today's challenge fish is hagfish. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> This is not the right type of fish. I must call off the contest until the matter is corrected. Also, let me remind you all of Local Ordinance 217 regarding the falsification of contest materials. Consider yourselves under caution. Now oh, we need hackfish. Well, we can make spicy hackfish. Trade my fish in for some hagfish. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. That ought to give it some zip. What else am I doing? Um, we need to talk to Ned. This island seems even smaller now that there's no one here. How about if I bury you in the warm sand? You can have a nice long rest. I'll rest when I'm not dead, which is never. Any words of advice, Murray? Give up on the secret and take up knitting. Any words of advice, Murray? Give up on the secret and take up knitting.
It's the secret tunnel to the ice core. I know. Y'all know. That's my old accountant, Ned Filigree. Genius with figures. But if they ever saw his records... Very cool. Art school graduate, huh? Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Keep up the good work. Hmm, well, you can't have gone far, surely. this court's time by submitting incompetent, irrelevant, and immaterial evidence. It's the judicial order for Stan's imprisonment. It says he only has one month left. It's an IOU for funds for repairing the jail. Um... Approach the bench, Your Honor. You may approach the bench. Your Honor, may I inquire about the case of everyone v. Stan? Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society, to be sure. But a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, I would have given him ten years with no chance for parole. Well, he once sold me a leaky ship. Does that count? The court rules not admissible, given the statute of limitations is up. Court is adjourned. Mm. Seems like we need to find Ned. I'm staying far away from this. We've eaten demon. There's lots of ideas actually from tales. Because we've had demon peppers, we've had a court of law as well. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Please take a fish and put it on your plate. Bluefish are absurdly poisonous. I'd rather live through this. Mr. Thripwood, we await your selection of fish. <laughs> and now, let the eating commence! <laughs> well, it seems that both contestants are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so desire. Hmm. Hang on, got an idea. Cool, now I'll swap the fish again. Yeah, we have a pen, can we not just fake the signature? That's a little dirty, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. It's one of the most beautiful key it's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen.
Hello. I guess it's uh, too much to ask to um, pepper only some of them. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the IOU yet, so. Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. <laughs> Fuck! Oh! Um... Fine. Now we put the pepper on. That ought to give it some zip. And our, our hagfish is fine. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. And now, let the eating commence. <laughs> Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, no. yes, you can no. stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Swan is Mr. Threepwood! Sweet! Only one more contest to go. Uh... Hang on, what happened there? Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as dirty as a bag of mud in a pigsty. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. Let's show Stan. Oh, we got a meanwhile. I can't tell you how. Oh, that's nice. I am to see you. Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who I thought was here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished. Which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it, though, uh, where is that key? I, I had it right here. And there aren't that many places it could have gone. I don't want to be in here. I don't have the joke book. Um... It's the secret tunnel to the ice quarry. I hope you found that washed up on a beach. I could be jailed for aiding and abetting if I give these to Stan. Better to hand them over to the authorities like Ned wanted. Mm -hmm. Joke book. Get to the joke book. 
we need another book. That's all we need, a second book. Fucking purple book everywhere. Odina! Actually, let's be formal after all, shall we? Oh, most regal, high, authoritative, benevolent ruler person? Yes. Thank you for the audience. I'll take my leave. Very well. You may go. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. It's slowly filling up with castle. Well, we're gonna have to look everywhere anyway for Ned. All clear. I'm here to talk to you, buddy. Move along, move along. Oh, never mind. Hey, Stan. How did you know I went there? You leave a bit of a trail sometimes. Love you. You too. Love you. You too. Okay, I thought there might be more to say. She's got too many limes. Oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. Oh, maybe I can use, um, maybe I can turn myself into Ned using this. Hmm. Hi, I'm working due east of the lake and due south of camp today. Okay, no, the only person who can do that is somebody who's not going to communicate with me. Uh, maybe I just... Hang on, maybe I just gave him the wrong form. previously recognized Ned's depth of knowledge in accounting. Do not waste the court's time by submitting redundant evidence. Hmm, I think I need a disguise. Um... I think it's out of juice. Maybe we go to the voodoo shop and try and put the disguise back together. He doesn't know what Ned looks like. Not voodoo magic, though. Maybe I can. Hey, Guybrush! 
Hm. How long do you plan to wait here? As long as it takes. Wait your turn. Just go in, buddy. I've been in like four times. Can I revise my disaster relief project? Fine. What is it this time? Let's rebuild local businesses. I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. Okay, because she has a purple book. Here you go. It's the same book. It's always at the end of the plank. But, um... Uh, I'm going to see if I can give him the IOU for the cookbook. I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date. She did? That's fantastic. I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. Okay, if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Cool. There we go, we figured something out, lovely. A little bit worrying for a bit there. Wait your turn. Thanks a lot. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Let's go see Bob. Oh, hello, Heisen. How are you? There's definitely a quicker way to get out. I don't know why I took this route. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any... Say, you're not still spying for Madison, are you? Our alliance ended when she had me dropped from a precipice. I know, I just had this sudden weird idea that that might have been a setup. Your paranoia is exceeded only by your oafishness. Apple Bob needs a new book. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Not quite. It seems relatable. It's At the End of the Plank. Oh, I read that with my book club. It's a mediocre story about a <laughs> roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. The ending's no good. Oh, you fuck. What? <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. There are loads of people with purple books. I need to find the one person with a purple book that isn't that one particular book. Got it. I can't actually remember where that is. So we're going to have to search the entire world, but... We are closer. We've progressed. I've done so much. The last two hours were very, very, um... We've got a lot of stuff done. Uh... No, I don't want to be here. I'm sure it's the purple book I need, but it'll, we'll, we'll look everywhere. 
Oh, you know what? Locksmith. It'll be the locksmith. Because it's like, it's not just a book, it's a book that means something to her. And if it's needlessly cruel, that's probably what Guybrush needs to do. Um, there we go. Hi there. Hiya. Elegant book. At the end of the plane. No, that's just the same stupid book. Please don't touch it. Um. Okay, who doesn't have that book? I need to find somebody in the same book club. Right, might be worth asking Elaine. She's probably in the same book club. Uh, it's probably the chums. Um, do you know anything about books? Why would you have in a book? You wouldn't have a book. Um, they might have a book. Hello. I'm not seeing any books. I am seeing books. It's at the end of the planet. Can I borrow this book? No, I haven't read it yet. Me either. Who's got... <laughs> Why are there so many copies of this one book? And there's nothing in here. Are you in the book club? No, you're not. Are you in the book club? It just takes me to the lookout. Okay, fine. We'll check other places. I know I just checked it, but there might be... There's no one else here, is there? need that flag but I need I need to break stand out of prison before I can do that there are no books on Terror Island Scurvy Island maybe hi hi no that's weird why why do I have a copy of a book that everyone has a copy of it took me ages to get that book as well. Uh, also, I've not seen that dude. We've run out of places to check. Um, She's. We'll give it a go. I think I need the joke book though. Yeah, this game was a lot longer than I, Contest will begin. I thought it was. First contestant to laugh is the loser. What do you call a pirate with twelve swords? Whatever he wants you to. Is that the best you've got? Well, I've got a mediocre book about... Uh, do I have anything funny on me? I'm a little too busy to do that right now. Oh. Well, I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. What do you get when you cross a seagull with a centipede? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. See ya. Yeah, I need that joke book. Hmm. Why? We've not used the blowfish yet, so no, not the courthouse. Yeah, we're we're stuck on two puzzles basically, and they're like, oh, hang on, no, no, no. Hmm. 
Why is there a picture of the blowfish there? Might be a different type of fish, actually. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Your Honor, what is the legal status of the royal challenges? The traditional Bermudian contests of hardiness, seriousness, hmm. and intelligence have been ruled to be fully constitutional. Does the plaintiff need more information? I seek to inquire about the contest of seriousness. Statute 46, Section VI, Subsection U states, the contest of seriousness is what we call a stone. Upon appeal to a higher court, the telling of jokes was ruled to be a further appeal to the Supreme Thank you, Your Honor. Court is a Apple Bob needs a new book, and the only book I have is one that he's read. So I clearly need a different book. It's really weird that everyone has a copy of this one book, though. I mean, I can just try different books, but like, it's this book. It's always this book. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. You know what? Let's just... I feel like there's a reason why everyone has those purple books, but like, let's just try one of the yellow books. Yeah, we're quite close to the end, and also, yeah, it's a bigger game than I initially seemed like it was going to be. Like, last stream we did two hours, and we were solving puzzles really fast doing that. Hey. We got a lot done. Um, Thanks a lot. Thanks for returning my book. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. It is an endless tale. He can't have finished it. Bob John, Apple Bob. Would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. Yay. There we go. Joke book, let's uh, get ourselves another key. Did you hear the one about the pirate who gave his parrot a duck? Polly wanted a quacker. It'll take more than that to crack me up. What did the demon say when he stepped on a pitchfork? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, Yay. the winner is that was a rubbish joke. Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. And so. 
citizens of Bermuda. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay. I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Gladly. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off to write my memoirs. <laughs> oh! Uh, um... As your queen... I've decided to reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Sweet. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. <laughs> yeah, that was a... Not. Yes. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. No, not Rose. And also, uh, Wally's not dead. Yay! Um, where are we going? We have four of the keys. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Uh, let's see how the worker collective is going. Now that I'm queen, I'm having the castle deep cleaned with plenty of boiling hot water. That should do it. <laughs> it's a nice castle. Um... All right, so I only have one puzzle left before we're on the last chapter. Um, and I don't know how to do it because I need, I need to find Ned and Ned's gone missing. <laughs> there he is. Um, so, like, we do have the ability to make magic disguises. Okay, let's, yeah. So we'll go to the map. We need to find one more key. Uh, some lady has buried it somewhere. She has three flags. I have two of those flags, but I need the third one because all the flags have holes on. And when you put the flags on top of this map, it will show you the spot where you have to go. 
I can't get the third flag because these dickheads have it. I can't take it off these dickheads because they're afraid of scurvy. I could give them limes, but they do not trust the literature that explains that limes will help them with scurvy. So we need Stan, the salesman, to zhuzh up the literature. We can't get Stan to zhuzh up the literature because he has to talk to Marley and Marley refuses to meet Stan and Stan is in prison. Stan's only in prison for a month, so he won't break out of prison. So we need him to be in prison for longer than a month, for 10 years, then he'll break out. We have the evidence to put him away, but it needs to be signed by Ned Filigree. He needs to sign an affidavit and he's fucking disappeared. <laughs> Well, hang on. There's a trivia card there. Um, below the cliff on my calendar is... Um, lava? Oh. Any words of advice, Murray? Give up on a secret. Hmm. Uh, I believe we're done with Terror Island. I mean... Okay. I guess we could go back. There's nothing actually stopping us from returning. Because we can just teleport out. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Oh, yeah. I, uh, actually, we can't go back because they took our lamp. Where did she get the lamp from? She got the monarch fire as well. Um, it's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. Anyway, it seems Elaine uh, off-screen rescued uh, Herman Tufrot, which is nice of her. Um, where would he go? There's like only so many places. I think he's gone because it'd be really unfair if he wasn't just gone, which makes me think I've got to have a disguise. Let's. You know what? This uh, seems like your kind of place. The stench of doom is exhilarating. So we have got on a disguise before. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. So, um, I mean, let's park somewhere. To build a disguise, we needed an embarrassing secret. Uh, we needed to find some poetry. I think it's out of juice. That's out of juice, though. And then we could pretend to be someone. Like, so if we want to pretend to be Ned, that might come in handy. Um, what if I... Uh... What if we do this? Go back to Bermuda. Oh, we got a statue. It's a sculpture of yours truly. My jawline has never looked so chiseled. Oh, we got a painting made and everything. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? The Queen of Bermuda is always allowed to approach the bench. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Um. Order. Order in the court. I will have order. Do not waste this court's time by submitting incompetent, <sighs> irrelevant, and immaterial evidence. Right, I think we've done reasonably well. We've gained another key, which means this episode is already, like, we've successfully done a thing, right? We have one more chapter, and, yeah, we've essentially... We're really close. But, uh... Annoyingly, I feel like... Because the, the way... Hang on, we can just go here. Someday, all... That's like, two flags. There are still quite a few parts of the map that I can see through the holes. Not really. You could just sail to the five different places. It's not going to let me do that, though. Sea Monkey 2. Everybody loves a sequel. Right, let's save my game. Hang on. We shouldn't linger. I never throw out a good piece of parchment. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to save my game. I'm going to let you go. We're doing pretty well, to be honest. But um, I am stuck, so I'm going to take a break. And also, I've got to meet brother to watch some anime. So I'm going to... I probably should check to see if he's available. What a great patch of ocean this is. So full of nothing. Farewell. Thank you very much for watching.